<laughs> I just woke up and I'm ready to go back to sleep. That's crazy. Don't act like you ain't never seen nobody use a plastic bag on their head because they ain't got no shower cap. Mind your business. You know how poop be all on the back of the toilets? Man, look at here. I don't even clean my toilet no more because I woke up a little tired. But yeah, this is my bed here, so. I paid for this procedure with my own coins. Okay, babe. Here, sip on it. Don't drink it as fast as you did last time. You're gonna need some of these. These baby wipes is your friend. Okay, let me go ahead and brush my teeth. Well, good morning. It's about 5.50 in the morning. Let me check my phone. It is six o'clock on the dot, actually. Um, I was just checking Baller Alert, and I think it came up yesterday, but I'm just gonna talk about it today. Uh, this man over here talking about, he don't. First of all, I can't stand a man recording me and then put it on social media. I think that's the lamest thing ever. Like, I think that's the lamest thing ever. Um, no, don't do that. And then secondly, he talking about why you ain't cooked for me. I worked all day, but then you mentioned she works at home. So technically you're not paying all the bills. So don't front like that. You know what I mean? Make sure that cage is closed up good, right? Yeah, uh, I think I put one latch on it. You got to check again if you want to. It's crazy how um, I don't cook no meal for my baby because he do all the cooking. I think that's why, right, baby. I don't tell nobody this. <laughs> <laughs> he not too proud of it, but he told me he wanted me to cook at least once a month, but he knew what he got his... <clears throat> It's different between us. He knew what he got himself into. He knew I'm all about the money. He knew I'm all about making money and not about cooking. I never really cared to, I mean, I can whip up some hamburger helper, some hot dogs, some, what? I can cook a hamburger, you know? But do I care to cook? No, I do not. But I just don't like how he just turned on that camera and just recorded old girl, even though her face is um shield from you know what i mean it's it's blurred out some men are whole mm. that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say we got an hour and a half drive so i made sure like five times that i uh that i got everything the main thing i needed was three bottles of no i mean three prescription bottles and um I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna talk about them three prescription bottles later, but right now we we got an hour and a half ahead of us. So, all right, see ya. Mm -hmm. All right, we're almost there. We're literally a minute away. Um, I wish I could eat. Definitely wish I can eat. I am. I'm over here thinking about Chick-fil-A uh, chicken biscuit. <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. 
the hotel I'm gonna stay at. And look like this. Was oh that's the hospital. Wait, is that the hospital? Okay, we finally made it. This is it. Ain't nothing special. Gotta get it done. Let's get in the room and look how look how big this chair is. This this chair is made for fat people. This chair looked like on the six hundred pound life. Um <laughs> On the 600 pound life TV show. So this is my room. Well, today is only supposed to be, they supposed to check, make sure my stomach is empty and do blood work and stuff like that. Tomorrow will be the surgery. So, just gonna wait. Look at this. That photo look crazy. When you think you're big, you're not. Look at. Three hours later. Okay, <laughs> I'm looking crazy right now. But I just got done with, they put me under anesthesia and they went down my throat. So it felt like they didn't do anything because I don't feel anything. I woke up a little tired. But yeah, this is my bed here, so. I'm pretty naked, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna get dressed. Get the hell up out of here. Okay, he just gonna go up in there and see if we get a discount code for this hotel or whatever. But like, it's that anesthesia was really, really weird. Um, before they even put me to sleep, they it was like I was wheeled into this room and then it was like five people five people in there and then the doctor she was like last thing she said was night night and I'm like well it's not working cuz I'm still here and then before you know it I blacked out like before I knew it like then when I woke up, that's some scary, that, that's some scary it, you know, it. That is some scary stuff because when I woke up, it was a whole nother nurse. I was actually in the recovery room and that I showed y'all just a moment ago. And I was like, did they go down my throat? Cause I don't feel anything. And they was like, yeah. And I'm like, what? I swear, even when I go to sleep, I can't hear anything. Like, I'm one of them heavy sleepers, I guess you could say. Like, when somebody come up in the house, I can't really hear anything. But that's some scary stuff. That's some medicine right there, boy. I ain't never had surgery. And to feel that, that's crazy. Okay, let me give y'all a tour of this little country room. This is just my TV here, the little table here. Then I got the kitchen here. Um, it has a smell in this room, just a very faint smell. It's not a bad smell, but it's not a good one either. And this is my, turn this off. Uh, this is my bathroom. So, oh, why the floor is sticky? Lord Jesus. Okay, it's not sticky in the bathroom, but as soon as I stepped down here, it was sticky. What is going on here? They got a little mirror here. So, when they pulled me back there, I was just, you know, I'm just like a joke. Before they even put the anesthesia in me, um, the, the doctor was like, oh, you got a lot of hair, you know? And I was like, what? On my chest? <laughs> and everybody because it was like five or six people in here they were laughing like they were just laughing they was like no your your hair i was like oh shoot and then that's when the doctor said night night 
and then I talking about a blackout going to sleep really fast that was like really scary but anywho so I got let me show you what I got I got um they gave me this little blue bag here let me take my purse out they gave me some um strict instructions I'm supposed to take this pill it is called the Start with a G. I'm trying to see what's the pill called. I don't know. So that just only take one pill before the surgery. It is for nausea and stuff like that. I take it tonight. So that's what I do. I take it tonight. And then I take this is the soap. This is the uh this is the soap that they want me to wash up with so I only wash up from the waist up the waist down I can use regular soap but the waist up I have to use this soap I'm wash I have to wash myself tonight and I have to wash myself again in the morning I've been pooping a lot ever since I got out of the the little recovery bed so um so far so good I'm not looking too crazy on this camera. So, hopefully, my man records really good. I'm hoping that he get really good footage. This hotel room is originally $139, and they gave us a discount. It was $80, so that's pretty good. Um, Yep, yeah, so those are my instructions. I'm supposed to be on a liquid diet next week. And then after that, I can have like pudding and stuff like that for the second week. And like, you know, darker, like I can have reds and purples, like jello and stuff like that. But this week, I'm strictly just clear liquids. Strictly. And then um, I can have third week I can have um what can I have oh third week I'm so excited about third week I can have mashed potatoes I can have eggs I can have grits stuff like that and then the fourth week I can have like like meats but I have to smush it up I can have green beans so I just gotta smush it up so I'm about to go in to the bathroom because it feels like I have to do number two and or poop or whatever and I don't want to risk it so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and unwind and take off my clothes and go ahead and wash up might as well get it over with I ain't got really nothing I mean I'm about to eat me some broth and um, and some sugar-free jello and my stomach is touching my back so I'm gonna get my shower on out the way might as well the lady said I should Am I going to soak in the tub? I don't know. I ain't never soaked in no tub. Not in a hotel I haven't. So I don't know if I'm going to be soaking in the tub. Look what he's eating. This is what I got to deal with. How, how is it, babe? This is great. I told you I eat outside. Why are you looking all the way up? Why your eyes look like they looking all the way up? Look into the camera, Charles. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Okay, this is dinner for me. So, and I'm gonna get like, I'm gonna get me some um, Jello. I can't have any red or purple Jello, so um, I got orange and green Jello. So I'm gonna finish them tonight. That's my little dessert. I could have sugar-free popsicles, but I left it at home, and they would have been melted by the time we even made it into this because. We were there at eight o'clock and I didn't get done till two. So it felt, it could have went a lot quicker. Let's just say that. And it was a lot of people. So it could have went a lot quicker because we had some dead spots, like some spots throughout the day that they was just having us waiting for no freaking reason. Um, um, my current weight is 296. That's what they weighed me today. Um, I think I started at 304 
because I have two scales at home. So one said 302 and one said 304. So if I started at 304, then I lost eight pounds. If I start at 302, I lost six pounds. So on the liquid diet or whatever. So um, it would have been nice if I would have lost 10 pounds. Um, and I paid for this procedure with my own coins. Uh, cause if you've been watching my vlogs, uh, I don't have a job. So the surgery was $8,500 and with all the prescriptions, I would say close to $200, I would say. Cause one was $69 and one was $101. So close to $200. So, yep. So I just took my shower and uh, I bathed with the soap, the medical soap, the soap that the hospital give you from the waist and above and from the waist down, I use my regular soap cause you know, I got to get it in. I love a shower. Eat my little jello and my little broth or whatever. And I'm done. And he's over here eating so good. It makes me just want to say, forget the whole surgery, call it off. I want my money back. Just looking at that food, like, that's how I feel. Real, real talk, that's how I feel. One eternity later. Okay, I was trying to set this camera up, but it is nine no it is 10 17. i just got off the phone with my sister and i forgot to tell y'all what happened today so um first of all i just want to let y'all know that when you are going through this oh my god like you feel like because i i had a moment 30 minutes to an hour ago I just felt really sad and the re really the reason why I felt really sad was because I wasn't I couldn't eat what I wanted. You know what I mean? I felt like I was in my feelings, you know what I mean? And uh he over there eating burgers and and now he now he just that was earlier and now he eating um well he was eating Panda Express and I'm like I just literally walked over by him while he was eating and I just looked at the food like as if I was just like a crazy person. But um so I had a little moment and I I I'm gonna get the moments uh but I have to the surgery oh and tomorrow my they let us know around like last minute today that my surgery has been changed. It was at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now it's changed to 2 p.m. So I have to be there at 12 so that so they can prep me. And then um, my surgery will be at 2. So, yep. So I'm, I'm, I got my little sugar-free jello. This stuff is good. You know, I thought, at first I, at first I was like, um, I didn't care for it, but it's the best thing I got going on for myself. And I, I can't, I, I can only have clear liquids for the first weeks um, after the surgery. So this is going to be my best friend. Take my shot. I mean, not my shot, but my um, pill. Um, I got to take that. And then I will be, um, um, I can't eat after 12 o'clock. So, um, but let me tell y'all what happened though. Cause let me tell you what happened before and after. So I'm in the, what, what was I? At? Okay. She was willing me once I got out of one room, cause they was putting the IV in my, arm and then they were um this is one thing you need to know they keep they will keep on saying this throughout the surgery oh they will say your first and last name my name is princess nelson birthday 6 12 85 every nurse 
every freaking doctor or whatever will come in there and that's the first thing they will say i'm talking about for you gonna hear that at least 20 times at least 20 times that day um then after i came out of that room and they uh put my iv in there or whatever um then i was wheeled into another room um i had to lay over to my left side and um i was wheeled to another room and then um I, I i told the lady i said oh my god it looks just like the movies you know how they have the um camera looking up at the ceiling so i was like oh it looks just like the movies got in the room the room looked just like the movies y'all i know y'all like girl stop acting brand new but this is like my first real surgery like it really is so the room looked at just like the movie um just like the movies and uh they once they got me in there i seen about at least between five to seven people it was a lot of people in there um they had put like this thing in my mouth no before they put the be, okay so the first thing he was saying he was like oh my god you got you got a lot of hair because i had all my hair down you know and the doctor was like oh my god you got a lot of hair and i said on oh, my chest <laughs> everybody bust out laughing and i was like now i'm thinking in my head like why would i say something stupid like that i must have been on the drugs or something but anywho you know it must have been the drugs so um because he kept on looking down and i thought he was looking at my chest but the but my chest was covered up so he he couldn't see my chest um so i don't even know what made me say that so then everybody was laughing and then that's when i seen the doctor the other doctor the doctor doctor that's supposed to supposed to be doing the entire surgery um because it's a lady that's doing that's gonna be cutting in up, up you know doing my procedure so um she was like she smiled and laughed and well before that they put this thing in my mouth like it was like wrapped around my mouth and it was like uh it was like plastic and i was i had to put it around my mouth like this so the thing that she was holding because she was holding like a noodle thing i don't know what the hell these these things are called and had a light so that was supposed to go down my throat and the next thing I heard was night night and she was smiling and I was gone. Like it's, it is pretty scary. It's pretty scary. And then, <clears throat> and then once I got out, then I woke up in a whole nother room. It was the recovery room. So I woke up in the recovery room and, um, I said the dumbest thing. I just said the dumbest thing. She said, is everything okay? And I said, oh, I just keep on pooping. <sighs> Lord Jesus. I meant to say, I meant to say to her that I am farting. Because I kept on having gas. And, oh my God. I, I'm a trip. I am, I, I am just so crazy. And then, like. They said that I would feel like a soreness in my throat or whatever. <coughs> but I didn't feel no soreness from that thing going down my throat. It felt like they didn't do anything. That's what it feel like. So, um, now since we got to stay in the hotel longer tomorrow. So, and then I'm going to be there. I ain't going to have no. So, you know you can't eat on the day of surgery. So, I'm going to be there just hungry. I was... Oh my God, like they did so much today. They they draw drew the blood. We I kept on changing rooms. And then once I changed like the first location when I showed y'all that building, I kept on changing rooms. And cause they, they had me filling out paperwork. They had me drawing blood. They had me we was in a classroom of, of twelve people. We was waiting on the doctor. It took like an hour for the doctor. Like it felt like an hour. And then the doctor came. She said, hey, she was literally in there for about 
uh, five minutes, not even five, and boom, we was out. Then we had to walk, we didn't walk, but we had to drive over there. This lady, this one lady walked, but we had to go over to the hospital. The hospital, that's when they did all that stuff and looked all down my throat, but I was just like, man, it was just, uh, it felt very, at first it was going so fast. And then, because I couldn't, like, record anything. And I showed y'all when I was in that room. And, uh, Lord Jesus. I'm trying to give y'all all the details because I don't want to leave nothing out. Um, I do, I have watched previous videos. And I feel like they don't be telling y'all everything. That's how I feel. So, I'm just trying to tell y'all all the gross. Oh, and another thing. Y'all want to know something about the gross stuff? When you are on this liquid diet, expect for your toilet to look nasty. Expect it to look nasty. You know how poop be all on the back of the toilets? Man, look at here. I don't even clean my toilet no more because it's just, I'm just losing weight. I'm losing weight and I'm pooping every two to three hours or whatever and most of it is liquid and I just gave up hell I just you know I'm just trying to give y'all all the tea <clears throat> so I know I got some new people watching this video so like this is how I really talk I talk I talk about all the tea on my vlog so check out my vlogs but um yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and I just want to show y'all I just wanted to tell y'all that tomorrow gonna be some. Yes, it is. And I hope um, my man get really good footage. Babe, you make sure you have that camera on while I'm over there un under anesthesia. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look like a damn fool tomorrow. Are you, are you judging me? Don't act like you ain't never seen nobody use a plastic bag on their head because they ain't got no shower cap. Mind your business. <sighs> okay, so I'm, I'm gonna do my hair before I leave, but I just wanna touch up some things. Um, they gave us that blue bag there to put our clothes in. They gave us a free t-shirt. Um, I took my medicine last night and I, let me see, I'm trying to think what else am I, oh, they called us this morning. It was like, now they changed, they, yesterday they told me my appointment, well, they, before I even came in, period, they said, your appointment is at 10, 10 o'clock to get the surgery. Then yesterday they changed it to two. Then they called this morning and said, Oh, can they call it around like 10, 10, 15 or something? Oh, can she come in right now so she can get her surgery done? And I'm like, I'm not moving as, no, I'm not moving, period. I was supposed to get out the bed about 10.45 anyway. So I, I moved at the pace that I was originally supposed to move. You can't keep on changing times and stuff. So, I'm going to do my hair, and um, I don't know how I'm going to have it, but I'm going to do it right now. He went downstairs to put some stuff in the truck, so the place is literally across the street, so we there's no way we can be late. I think it's like 1140 anyway, so we're going to be there at 12. No worries. I know it's a 
good thing for me, you know? Yeah, I see how they rolling them in. They have them scheduled regular, you know, it's like pretty good. Yeah. Hi. All right, you guys. Well, I'm not gone yet, but this bag here is for. Um, I'm pulling it like that. I'm not pulling it, but this bag here is for like electrolyte, elect, uh, electrolytes, and uh, I forgot the other name. Um, but it's, it's to keep me hydrated. And I've got this bag. What is this bag for? She told me. Uh, oh, I forgot. Hopefully it's to put you to sleep. No, but she told me that this bag does not drip that much. I think it's to keep me, oh, for nauseous. You know, mm. yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, for like, if I get nauseous or something, but it barely drips. This one's supposed to be empty in the next 15 minutes. And, you know, keep me hydrated. And then, yep, I just use this to call the nurse when this bag is empty. And, uh, man, I'm ready to go to sleep. I woke up and <laughs> I just woke up and I'm ready to go back to sleep. That's crazy. But I'm about to be sleeping in a minute. They about to put me out. Do you hear me? Out. So they said I can turn on some TV. Let me turn on some TV here. See what they got on this TV. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all that they shot me in my belly for blood thinners. Um, they said because my BMI is over 50 and um, I have the Mirena, AKA the IUD for birth control. So they making sure that, that I don't have any blood clots. So that sh for that, so they shot me in my stomach, so I wouldn't have any blood clots. Just wanted to let y'all know that. Kidney or liver problems? Acid reflux or heartburn? Diabetes or thyroid issues? Problems with your lungs? Asthma? COPD? Smoke or ever smoked? Snoring at night? Well, he says I do a little bit. But you don't have diagnosed sleep apnea? No. Okay, perfect. So I, I, cause I went through the testing. The testing. Good. Okay. So nothing, huh? You're healthy. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that very often. <laughs> Only metal is braces or do you have pins, plates, screws anywhere else? Just uh, my braces. Okay. And of course, an implant. But Where's the implant? The oh, okay. In the back. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I really just care about these fronts, so that'll be good. Okay, open and give really wide, stick your tongue out at me. Uh, Perfect. Scratchy sore throat's normal today. Oh, it's normal? Yes. I'm not gonna wake up with a scratchy sore I'm throat. I'm putting last more time. down there today. Oh. Yeah. That's going down there, down there. Uh huh. Oh, okay. I'm putting a few things down your throat today, so I expect you to have a little bit of a scratchy sore throat. Okay. okay. Do I get ice chips this time? Afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Um, same monitors, did you have your scope yesterday? What, what? Did you have your scope yesterday where they looked in your yeah. stomach? Okay, mm -hmm. so same monitors as yesterday, mm -hmm. but I'll give you oxygen through a mask this time instead of that nasal cannula that was in your nose. Mm -hmm. So after we get in the room, I'll put all those monitors on you. You'll go to sleep with medicine in your IV, which mm -hmm. is Okay, mm -hmm. and after that, if you're breathing too, then after you're asleep. Okay. okay, once Dr. Islam is done, I'll wake you up and go to recovery room the gas pain that they talked to you about, mm -hmm. I can't make it go away. Mm -hmm. I will have you comfortable with okay. some pain medicine, but you can still have some chest pain, shoulder pain, that's all from the gas. Some people even say, I feel like I can't breathe. You're breathing fine. We wouldn't take that breathing tube out. It's not, you're just feeling that pressure in your stomach. And the best way to do it is walk. Get up right? and walk. Okay. It'll probably take a couple days to kind of get back to normal though. Okay. Okay. But yeah, walking's the best thing you can do for that. Okay. Okay. Did they give you that shot in your belly? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Are you going to have to do it at home or just do it? Right oh, shot? yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that at home okay. because the uh, Miranda, I mean. Yes, you do. Yeah. 
you do my IUD or yep. whatever, and then uh, to prevent the blood yes. clots. Yes, anybody that's on some type of birth control has to do Lovenox. Yeah. So anyway, um, questions or concerns? Um, nope. You're next, so I'm guessing 15, 20 minutes or so. We'll okay. head back, okay? I'm the lucky one, huh? Yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You good? Yeah, we're ready okay. to go. Uh, me, too. Like me too. Me <laughs> too. As soon as they call us, I'll okay. get you back. A few moments later. Thirty-three, and I mean it took me about five minutes to get down. It's August the thirtieth, and they just took her back. And I wish I could have got her on camera, cause y'all, as soon as they put that shot in that IV, she was a whole nother person, a whole nother person. For somebody that's never done drugs, she don't get drunk. As soon as that feel good medicine went in that IV. I mean, it took no longer than 30 seconds and she was like, ooh, Charles, this is what I need when they was rolling her out. <laughs> so, it should be about 45 minutes to an hour, probably hour 15. They say 90 minutes, but it might be an hour and 15 by the time they get done because she's going to knock out pretty quick because she doesn't do any anything as far as like drugs or anything. So, but she doesn't drink. So, yeah, I'm going to go get something to eat because I can eat and she can't and I haven't eaten anything all day and the cafeteria is closed. So, All right, yeah, so she's gonna kill me when she sees this, but this is where I ate at. Catfish Old Harley's out here in Decatur, Texas. Oh, here. So I don't know if y'all heard me, but it's called Catfish or Harley's out in Decatur, Texas. And it was it was pretty decent. It was pretty decent. Uh, I had one old lady in there waiting tables, Miss Kathy. She was very attentive, so that was good. And uh, I said she's going to kill me because I've been splitting up footage between our <coughs> excuse me, splitting up footage between our phone and this camera depending on where I'm at, because, you know, I'm in a whole different town, and I don't know how people feel about it, you know, and we ain't in Dallas right now. So, yeah, so the doctor called me while I was eating, kind of figured that was gonna happen. Uh, Princess did well. There was no complications, the doctor said there's no worries, and I could see her in about an hour, but she called me at what time is that 320 so it is 335 right now so that's about 15 minutes ago so I got about 45 minutes or probably 30 because they moved pretty quick before they called me and then we got to go through another process which is I have to help her walk and then she also has to um what else does she have to do? Oh yeah, she has to drink a certain amount of water and keep it down before they release her for this discharger from the hospital. So we're gonna see how this goes and I'm gonna try to get some more footage either on this camera or my iPhone and let y'all guys see. But y'all will be seeing her when I get there, whenever they let me in. We're gonna go see her together. So until then, bye.
There she go, y'all. Don't let her fool you. She fully can hear it about everything's going on. She's just tired. Told y'all she was going to be mad at me. Say hey, babe. What y'all see in the other clip, we just got done doing, I think this was the second round of laps. We got to do four, but she did three laps this time, so she's doing good and she's keeping the water down. Now we got to do another ounce of water. You still got pressure on your chest? Okay, babe. Here, sip on it. Don't drink it as fast as you did last time. Do it again, wanna sit down. Mm, sit down. Hold on, wait a minute. Since you did the five minutes, 525, we're gonna do another one. And we're going to go walking again. She said it might be 24 to 48 hours before you stop feeling like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to ride all the way home, let me know. But you can't do that, not yet. Is it trying to come back up? Mm -mm. Okay. And plus, it's raining too. So, we'll see at the end of this if you want to go home or you want to stay at the hotel for free. But if we don't get your blood pressure down, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't leaving out this building tonight. Oh. Mm -hmm. Lights flickering. for a minute. You just worry about staying woke. Because a minute ago you had one eye open and one eye closed. I'm sorry. I have another patient 
Now she did three laps this last time. Oh. So we're gonna go back out when she gets done with that broth there. Sure. And she can drink it, she can sip an ounce, and she can walk mm -hmm. a lap. It doesn't matter how she wants to do it, it's how she wants to. And you said when I came in, that was the second one, right? Mm hmm. So we did the third one, we came back, and then this is the fourth one. Yay! Now, yeah, if we can just figure out what's going on with this, with that blood pressure. Yeah. And, yeah. I tell you what, that's the only thing that's going on, her being sleepy. But she's the same old number princess. You see? <laughs> mm, but she does she does YouTube. She's like, you're supposed to be recording. I said, well, you're coherent then. <laughs> he's got to have your permission first, <laughs> Now we know. She's, he's supposed to be keeping up with your YouTube. <laughs> Hey. Mm. And how's your pain? Mm. Hmm. From one to ten, how bad is it? Mm. It's a seven. Seven. It's not that bad. I would say. Uh, Three, four. Mm. It's just this anesthesia keep on making me sleepy. That's the only thing. There's some heavy stuff for it to be lasting for the next 24 to 48 hours. I'm so ready to go to bed. I know you is, but you can't. You still got one more pill to take. Then I do take down that. We gotta go walking. I'll give you about five more minutes. I just feel so much discomfort. Where? My back. Mm. It's your first time taking that, so hopefully it help with the discomfort on your stomach and your back. How you feel? Better. Hmm? Better. Is the pressure going down? Mm -hmm. Is the pressure in your chest going down? Mm -hmm. Want to do one more after this? Mm -hmm. How about two more? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So sorry you guys. Um 
I'm not really feeling, the pain ain't too bad. I'm just feeling really tired. So I'm on my way to the hospital. I mean, the I'm at the hospital. <laughs> I'm on my way to the hotel um, to go to sleep. Um, they said I'm supposed to be feeling like this for 28, 24 to 48 hours. I'm just really tired. Um, I had some, let me get that sheet of paper. I had to finish, um, it says drink one ounce every 15 minutes for a total of eight ounces. Walk two laps after every two ounces for a total of 10 laps. So I completed that. I completed all of this pretty fast. Didn't I, babe? Yep. So Got I you on camera. I knocked that out pretty fast. Um, I didn't really drink that much broth. I don't know what the hell this is. Just coffee. I didn't drink no coffee. I just pretty much drunk water and a little crystal light. That crystal light was pretty good. What's that, Jello? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pack some of this stuff up to go. I'm going to Walmart anyway. Mm -hmm. When I take you to the hotel, unless you want to go with me. I got no jello or nothing. I'm not hungry. Come on, you get home. Oh. I just want to sleep. That's all I want to do is lay down. Well, at least they, uh, told me Bet you can go to sleep now. Yeah. I just feel really sleepy, guys. Um, this pain is tolerable. It's not bad. As long as you got pain medicine, it's not bad. I'm sorry that I'm talking like this because I'm still drugged up. Oh, still feel like drowsy and sleepy. Well, I was gonna say whenever you wake up, we can go home. But now you gotta get up at seven o'clock so you can get your blood pressure checked. So you might as well just crash out when you get there. Yeah. Cause it's already 8.30. Yeah. Yeah, they want the doctor want to see you at eight. It's eight twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. I'm out. All right, y'all. So they finally let us go home. Well, not actually home. We were going to go home, but she wants to go back to the hotel. But we got a free voucher, so why not? And then her blood pressure wouldn't go down, so they want to see her at 8 o'clock in the morning anyway. So good thing she did change her mind, or we'll still be sitting up there. It is 8.30. So now I'm just waiting on her to come out. And then all these people come out the emergency room. I don't know everybody. It's, a, people, it's full of people in the emergency room. Okay. Um. We at the hospital. And, um. I'm moving like sluggish right now. So, I, uh, I 
I went to go get my blood pressure checked. Everything is fine. It's, it was 114 over 68 or something. And um, he went in there to go get my blood thinner shots. But I guess it must be at the Walgreens because he coming out right now without nothing. So it got to be probably at that Walgreens. Because I need blood thinner shots. 48 and Highway 80 in. Because I got that Moreno. And my BMI is over 50, so. And I have to walk, walk, walk a lot. So when I get back, I'm going to do some walking. I think they said you got to walk like five minutes. Speak to pharmacists. You call them Walgreens? I'm going to go inside Walgreens and see if they got them damn socks too. We'll get there before we go home. I'm so used to just sticking mm. my motherfucking shit up. Mm. Okay. Make sure it's dry. Mm. Hmm. Okay, we're getting our new bed delivered. Let's see how this bed looks. Bit. Oh, they took the old oh, oh, sure. That's the Oh, what's that the door? Hey. Is that heavy? Yes. Yeah, but I got it. Thank you. Uh, uh, don't, yeah, don't pick it up. I can't pick it up either. Hey. All right. It was tolerable. Oh, shoot, wait. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Got it? Oh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad it went well. I'm glad that you grabbed our packages. Of course. Mm. It's a lot later. My throat is still dry. I try to sip the water. <coughs> um, I think I drunk water really fast one time and I ended up getting hiccups, so can't do that. Um, I'm just talking like this because my throat ain't there yet. Like my throat ain't there yet. I have been having pain on my shoulders and on in my um stomach but like it only happens like when I'm moving or um like when I'm getting up off the bed or um when I'm breathing in and out that's when I can feel it but other than that I can't feel nothing really I can walk and not feel nothing. Um, like when I'm trying to get out the bed by myself or something, for some reason I got pain in my shoulders. I don't know what that is. And then 
I gotta walk in a minute, so every hour of the hour, you have to walk five minutes while you're up. So, to prevent blood clots, because I don't want any blood clots. <laughs> so, um, I think I told the doctor I was at, at a pain eight, and I may be over exaggerating when I told her that, because I think the pain probably was a five. It was not that big of a deal. That's when they very first woke me up. So I'm like, that was the room that I first saw. Um, and then I, w I remember telling the lady, cause no, the, the nurse was telling me, she was like, oh, usually people can't remember when they leave out this room. And she was like, oh, I'm gonna give you some relaxing medicine. So I'm like, well, relaxing medicine can make you do that. And she was, and she gave me a uh, fentanyl. And I'm like, what? And I didn't know, like, I mean, I understand that anesthesia um, can make you go out. But for some reason, that medicine she gave me, all I remember, I was leaving out that door. And I guess when they turned left or right, I, I, I didn't remember anything. I didn't remember a damn thing. And they, they said that medicine was supposed to relax me. And that made me miss my, <laughs> not make me um lose my memory, shit. Um, I really need to stop cursing. I really do. So I can't wait till my belly feel like really healed and um, like I said, it's not really no pain until I start moving. So I'm trying to make sure um, throughout the whole process, I w it, I'm talking about it was tolerable. It was tolerable. Um, I can take needles and I have a high, um, you know, I can take pain. Like I'm not, I'm not weak you know what i'm saying like i can i have a high pain tolerance so the whole time i was being really strong and i wasn't whining and it was like oh my god you're doing great because you know a lot of people they get a lot of people that just whines and you know especially when they put a needle in because it's this one needle they put in you um the iv they put the iv in you it's supposed to sting just like for like 30 seconds. Then when she stuck it in me, I was like, that's it, man. It felt like a little bee sting or whatever. A little pinch or something. I was just like excited. I was just so excited. I wasn't nervous. I was excited because like I'm like doing something that's going to change my life. You know what I mean? So, you uh, know, I've been big all my life. So... I really want to see how it feels to be 199 or something, you know? Because I haven't been that, like, since, probably since 8th grade or something. I don't know. That's the last time I can remember. <laughs> but, um, I feel better. I'm going to feel a lot better tomorrow. Sure is, but, uh, yeah. So, if anybody, if anybody ever thinking about this, um, and um, all I can say is continue watch my videos because I give you the raw, uncut, real version of the experience. Um, I suggest you go and get some baby wipes or some flushable wipes. Not baby wipes, but flushable wipes because um, when you go on that liquid diet, you're going to need that because your butt can get raw. And nobody talks about that when they when they um talk about this um surgery like all that pooping you're doing and all that you know that liquid coming out your butt you're gonna need some you you're gonna need to wipe that with with uh with some wipes not no tissue because your butt gonna get like really sore and white uh you know raw um this the end of the video I appreciate y'all watching. 
and maybe hopefully the next time I record, I'll be more jittery. But right now, I'm just taking it easy and um, talking about hair, thinking about taking these braids out in about another week or two, probably another week. Cause, um, these braces are not giving. So, um, if I think of anything, I turn it back on the camera. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think this is all I got to say. So, peace. With the bear hug, pick me off the ground. Squeezing me tight, attempted to bug me. Grab me by the rear, said, Love me, hug me. All fat girls, y'all best to chill. All overweight freaks, stay off my block. Cause it's ill to have a fat girl on your job.